Hey everybody, thanks for stopping by Greg's Beer Reviews today. Let's go see what's in the fridge today. Hey everybody, welcome to Greg's Beer Reviews today. Today's beer comes from New Belgium. Yeah, these guys have been bought out, uh, but I'm very limited of what I can get my hands on around here. Uh, so, uh, not going to mealy mouth or, or say anything about, about all the breweries that have sold out because I am still buying New Belgium beers and some of the others, even Founders and, and some of the others guys. Uh, I'm just so limited on my selection of what I can buy around here. And with all the breweries that are selling out, it is what it is, guys. Uh, this is New Belgium Starship IPA uh, Voodoo Ranger. Uh, is a 7.7% 50 IBUs. Uh, and they're out of Colorado. So, and on the bottom of this one, it says. 19 April 2020 so uh, they're wanting you to have this by April 19th of 2020 and that underneath that it says 19 12 10 0 2 I or 1 T I'm assuming that that was put in the can on December the 10th of 2019 so they're giving it a four month shelf life as far as I can tell uh, I did buy a six pack of this at the little gas station slash beer store uh, and it was 10 bucks I mean, for, for four of these, so, uh, I mean, for six of these, uh, so, uh, fairly good deal for ten bucks for six of a 7.7%. Uh, I did buy a six pack of these, uh, like I said, uh, just to, uh, see what it is, and, and it's a little gas station slash beer store, you can't buy singles, you have to buy either the four pack or the six pack, uh, however they've got it put out on the shelf. You can't buy one at a time like you can at the, uh, uh, at some other stores. So, so it is what it is. Again, 7.7, 50 IBUs, um, and, uh, being put in December, January, February, it's still within three months old. Uh, less than three months old, so hopefully it's still going to be very tasty, a 12-ounce can. Their description on the tap says, brewed with out-of-this-world galaxy hops, which is a southern hemisphere hops, maybe a little spicy notes, maybe. Starship IPA will blast your taste bud with notes of fresh grapefruit and citrus. So, uh, let's find out. Let's get it open, get it into the glass, and see what we have. I'm going to pour this fairly aggressive, guys. In case there's any settling going on, I don't know if it's a filtered or unfiltered beer. Looks like it's decently carbonated. Look at all that head. Yeah, that's what she said. All right. Two fingers of head on that pour. A nice haziness to the beer. Would not consider it a New England style, but it does look like it's an unfiltered beer. Looks pretty nice, nice amber color. To the nose we go. Oh, very nice. Big time orange citrusy notes on this. Smells awesome. Got a very nice orangey creamsicle uh, aroma. Very, very nice. Very pleasant. Very, very pleasant. So, uh, let's find out. Cheers. spicy notes from the Galaxy Hops. Nice and citrusy. Oranges. Maybe a little grapefruit. Slightly in there, some tropical fruit notes. Mm. 
That's a very pleasant beer for what it costs. I mean, six of these for ten bucks. That is a, a good deal for 7.7% with that much hop aroma. And the date on it, uh, I'm not a fan of the best before or best by dates. Uh, so I'm just trying to decipher that code underneath of it. It looks like it's a December uh, Candon date. Uh, so uh, man, I don't have a problem with that. If they, if they give us that information and when it was put in the package, can or bottle, and then they want you, when they want you to have it by, but when, when I can tell, when I'm looking at it, they're, they're giving it a four-month shelf life, but it's a little longer than I would like it to be, but I have no control over that. And giving it uh, four months, that's going to let them sell more of it. So, uh, guys, uh, you can support who you, who you want to support. If you want to support craft, small craft, independent breweries only, or if you want to support people that have been bought out, Goose Island and, and so many others, New Belgium and Lagunitas and, 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 and Founders and so many others that have that have sold out. Uh, do what you want to do there, guys. I'm not going to be my mouth anybody for, uh, for selling out or, or what you want to buy or what you want to purchase. I'm not going to do that anymore. Um, but on, a, on that side note, if more than 25% of the brewery is owned by a big conglomerate, AB InBev, Heineken, Coors, Miller, whoever it may be, uh, they're not considered craft beers any longer. So uh, I try to support those guys when I can. And sometimes I can't. I have to buy something else because I have a very limited selection around here. So it is what it is again, I say. It's, it's like it's my favorite saying, isn't it, guys? I mean, I just keep saying that same shit over and over and over and over and over, but I have I have so few beers to purchase around here without getting into somebody that's, that has sold out or uh, beers that are four, five, six months old or even long older uh, to purchase. I mean, so it's my problem, but, you know, I deal with it, especially when I get to the point where I have to go do something like that uh, just to review something, uh, so, oh well, that's just life, <laughs> life is not a, a chair of bowlies as they say, so let me sip on this and we'll come back and give it a grade. Alright guys, I'm back by sipping on this about 45 minutes or so, a little bit of lacing left on the glass, I find this a fairly tasty beer, just like I do the Voodoo Ranger Imperial that I buy for my go-to beers, uh, New Belgium can make some tasty beers, guys. Uh, this would be probably be something that I would purchase again. Uh, it is a very tasty beer, a nice hop aroma, uh, a very pleasant taste. Uh, alcohol is super well hidden. Uh, I enjoyed this beer. I bought a six pack of these, so I have a few more of these to drink, and uh, I enjoy this. Uh, even though these guys are sold out, uh, I have a very limited selection, like I have told you guys, so uh, final chug on this one, very cloudy, looks like an unfiltered beer, not to the New England style by any means, but uh, for what it is, it's not claiming to be a New England style beer, so very pleasant, final chug. Very tasty, very tasty beer, guys. Uh, like I said, I bought a whole six pack of these, so uh, looking forward to drinking those. Uh, I've seen it, I wanted to pick it up because I had not reviewed it before. Uh, it is a very pleasant beer. And for $10 for a six pack of these, uh, good bang for your buck. So, uh, with that being said, guys, to me, I'm gonna give it a 90, a minus. Uh, I do think it's an A beer. So, uh, over to Beer Advocate, they say 86 in the very good range. I think it's a little better than that because it's got the date on it, uh, got the ABV on it. Over to Untapped, they say 3.73, which is in their B range, not even to B plus. I think it's a little better than that, guys. But, you know, again, the people that post comments and reviews uh, on both these sites, unless it blows their hair back or their socks off, uh, they're not going to give it a good grade. Uh, and a lot of these guys are super big hop heads and, 
And again, unless it's blowing their hair back or their socks off, they're not overwhelmed with the beer. Uh, I try to grade it for what it is, and for what it is, it's not claiming to be anything other than what it is. It is a very tasty IPA. And for 7.7%, almost an 8%er, almost into the double range, and for $10 for six of these, very, very tasty. So, uh, less than $2 a can. Uh, that's a good deal. That is a good deal. So, you may see it again in my fridge. Uh, I don't know how long it's going to be out. Uh, a lot of these beers come and go pretty quick. So, uh, if you've had the Starship IPA Booty Ranger from New Belgium, let me know what you think. Till we meet again. Let's go see what's in the fridge.